Hello, my most amazing artists. How are you today? Today, I'm talking to my 4G scholars, and we're going to look again at something that you've already talked about in history class, the Statue of Liberty. First of all, did you know that the name of this statue is not just the Statue of Liberty? It actually has a fancier name. It's official title is Liberty Enlightening the World. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is an artistic idea. When you look at this kind of artwork, how is it different than some of the other artwork we've looked at? In other words, this is a sculpture and we've looked at things that are two-dimensional, like paintings. Um, I was thinking about some of the projects we did this year. We were just working on a bird project where we were drawing a bird and we were going to put clouds. That's a two-dimensional project. That's flat. But we also did those Greek pots, those urns, and that would be a three-dimensional project. So that would be more like a sculpture. So the Statue of Liberty, of course, is a sculpture. And the thing that I want to also remind you about is that you memorized a poem about the Statue of Liberty called the New Colossus. Let's see, just for fun, if we still remember it. Now, I am going to see if I remember it from when I taught 4G, and I, I don't even have a paper in front of me to cheat from. So if I mess up, you can laugh at me. All right, here we go. The New Colossus by Emma Lazarus. Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame with conquering limbs astride from land to land. Here at our sea-washed sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch whose flame is the imprisoned lightning and her name, Mother of Exiles. From her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome. Her mild eyes command the air-bridged harbor that Twin Cities frame. Keep, ancient lands, your storied pomp, cries she with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your... Yeah, I forgot. This is the most famous line of the poem. Okay, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Okay, I might have messed up on a word or two there. You'll have to let me know. All right, so today we are going to take a moment to draw a close-up of Lady Liberty's face and her crown. And we are going to do that together, or you can um, look at the directions in your packet and do it on your own. But I'll show you how mine goes in just a minute. 